What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Floors Report. I'm your host, Danny Floors. Today, we have a special guest, a TikToker with almost half a million. Ew, shut half up. Half a million of Ew, not even close. <laughs> Danny, stop. Dude, that's close. You have, no, what, over I have like three. You have over 400K. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyways. But we have Miriam Izzo, Miriam Lopez, whatever you want to call her, Bolita, whatever you know her as. <laughs> Dude, we already you, started. I was you said around. we're going to be serious. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, seriously, guys? She's the first guest in this studio, Modern. so thank you so much for coming. No, thank you. I thought you were going to flake. Honestly, like dead ass, mm-hmm. I thought you were. Just because I'm going through it? Damn, Danny put nah, it out there. Not Damn. even that. Not even that. Wow. Not even that. Because like, let me be, I'm already starting like. It's like you were having a mental breakdown and I wasn't <laughs> sure if you are going to no, I'm already, <laughs> I'm already going to start with the metal metal. But first, before we start that, I want to get to know more of you. Because th- if you guys don't know, this is our first time meeting in person. First date, kind of nervous. Low key. <laughs> it was yesterday, our first date, kind of nervous. <laughs> Where <are> we <laughs> What? <laughs> Where are we, the- we, we were nervous? We, we realized we were part of Grupo Pesado. <laughs> <laughs> If you saw the live yesterday, you know you know what the hell she's talking about. Oh my god! But gosh. Um, yeah, so I want to know the donde eres. Where are you from? So de Comiles Nayarit, very close town over there in next to like the peak. Mm-hmm. It's like the major big city mm-hmm. where I'm from. But I'm from Nayarit. Um, I was born there actually, and I was brought here when I was four. Then after that, I've been in Oregon my whole life. Shout out to Salem, Oregon. How do you like Oregon? I hate it honestly no i think uh <laughs> can't be serious sorry okay okay i love it <laughs> <laughs> no i i don't hate it i have a love-hate relationship with where i live mm. i love how beautiful it is i love how there's a lot of trees and nature and everything but i just it's so depressing because it's raining more than half of the year so it's always raining and so that's very depressing i know i heard it rains a lot and i don't like the rain when it rains here in phoenix i'm like bruh it gets dark super early and i just like i'm not bella i'm not bella from twilight so <laughs> i don't it... be enjoying this weather wait that takes place over there yeah oh shoot okay i see you mm-hmm. it's twilight mm-hmm. i've been looking for i've been looking for my jacob pero nunca salió. Nunca salió a that's why i'm gay <laughs> <laughs> bro <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Bella. Where the hell you been? Aloka? Wait, wait, huh? you're gay? Holy I'm shit! Sorry. What the fuck? This is your first time. Damn, yes, I didn't know that, dude. What dude. the hell? Are you gay? Yeah, shout out world. I'm gay. Shout out LGBTQ plus. <laughs> shout out to the LGBTQ. <laughs> does, does it snow in Oregon? It does, but like, dude, have you not seen? We mostly get like ice. We get more ice storms than snow. Mm. Like, don't mm. be throwing snowballs at anybody. You're going to knock them out. Because it's, it's probably, like, pure ice. It's pure ice. Yeah. Um, I was, like, ice skating the other day. Like, I went to my life. <laughs> Outside. Just in my shoes. Just I, in my shoes. Actually, I saw that video you did. It was not ice skating, but it was a fake news, fake reporter or something. Oh, yeah. That one uh, was funny. I just posted it on my story, and people were, like, post it as a reel. Uh-huh. And it took off on oh. Instagram. I think it was a chichi grab. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm your chi chi? And then people are like, dude, why'd she do that? I'm like, hopefully, answers a am I a boy or a girl question. Yeah, you get that a lot. I know. I don't know why, though. I don't know why either. I don't know. Like, just I because can't... I wear hats and big jackets and maybe <laughs> have short hair. A la mejor. If you guys don't know, Miriam is known on TikTok for singing. She has a beautiful voice. No, not to Chivas or nothing. <sighs> She has a beautiful voice. Keep going. Um, uh, that's how we actually met. Yeah. Um, oh, I yeah. Think how did you find me? I always get curious about that. I would see you on my For You page, but I never, like, hit the follow button or whatever. I would just swipe. <laughs> da, da, da. I would I would like mm-hmm, your videos. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think it was Rachel. Shout out to Rachel. She's one of our supporters. Shout out, Rachel. Uh, more supporter of me. But she's... More uh, me. No, yeah. more me. That's debatable. That's debatable. Whatever. <laughs> but, Answer that, Rachel. Answer that. I'm not trying to put you on the spot. I want to know. She's gonna pick you. She's gonna pick you. Near she's her. gonna pick you. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I found you, and I was already like watching your lives, but I was a silent commentator. Mm-hmm. And then I, I don't know who it was. It was probably Rachel. She's like, hey, you should have Miriam on the podcast. Blah blah blah. I'm like, oh, I know Miriam. I like, I follow her, or whatever. And then after that, I started interacting with your videos, sending you lions and shit like that. And I was. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, damn, the yeah, lion but- <laughs> emoji. That's what you mean. <laughs> yeah, that's what I. What did you th- did you think? Give. 
whatever. No, no, the emojis. Right. Um, and that's when I was like, oh, shit, yeah, she has a beautiful voice. And, uh, yeah, we became friends, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> We're we friends, be- right? We became, we became cool. And you, you ask me that a lot. Are we friends? Yeah, because we I don't know what we are, like, honestly. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to keep. Yeah, let's keep it. We, we still have to keep figuring that out because. Yeah, because it's hard right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but that yes that's how that's how I, I came across your feed and then you didn't know who i was Mm-mm. which that's fine i'm not i'm not popular by any means wow. but Anyways, um that's yeah and then such a big lie dude like i was like who is this guy once i started to search you up and i was like okay uh-huh. danny go danny flores i guess go off you, you did someone tell you or you you searched it up i searched it up okay because yeah. i thought i thought like rachel or someone else told you like oh well, this is she kept telling me about you and i was like who who's danny like yeah. who is that and then i looked you up too and i was like okay go on with your little bed self with your little cheese man <laughs> all right as long as i'm not part of it no nah, i always say kidding. this i always say this no he's real it doesn't matter if you're my friend a quote-unquote friend but you're still gonna be on the cheese man i don't give a damn Right? There's cheese me up about you. You're gonna leave me out of it, right? No, nope. I'm still talking about it. All right. Yeah. I know, so, but it's all, I always gotta watch my back. Yep. Don't do anything <sighs> dumb. Don't do anything dumb. Whatever. But yeah, how you how do you how do you like Phoenix right now? It's hot, dude. It's hot. It's hot. Like I'm already sweating. Yeah. You did con tell esa me to, You said stop. <laughs> you said dress down. I was like, yeah, hell no. I'm, I'm feeling comfy right now, but turn up that AC. <laughs> You're getting hot. <laughs> I know. Stop I, it. You started sweating finished. before me. No empieces. No, nah. Tú te ibas y no te aguantas si tú si lloras. I <laughs> no, already said that. No, I already said that. No, don't <laughs> worry, guys. El AC está prendido. It's all. Whatever. A todo lo que da. So mm-hmm. I don't know if you're hot. That's you on you. You started sweating before That's me. That's on you. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. Anyways. It's but hella hot. It is hot? It's super hot, but it's really nice. Like, so far from what I've seen, my hotel, that one window I have, perfect <laughs> yeah the, I, I, miriam came like in the worst week well no i don't want to say worse because it's only like in the mid 90s and it gets worse like 120 and shit so you came in like the beginning of the heat um so yeah i apologize this is just for the that. beginning yeah oh my god no, i'm you. telling you te digo, it's like 115 120 here karen would be hating it right now i'm not gonna lie she would be hating it right now shout out karen yeah talking about karen who who is karen just for the people that don't karen that is don't my know. wife it's your wife. Yeah, she's my wifey. How long have you guys been together? Uh, f- almost five years. Shh, that's a long time. In July. That's July a long time. Five, five years. And we started dating like pre-COVID. I say that's a long time, but then you say pre-COVID, and I feel like COVID just happened last year. I know. So it's like, it's a long time, but, but it's not still, really? yeah, but not really. I know. But shout <laughs> out to you guys. Yeah. You guys made it through COVID. That and was a hard, I bet that dude, was hard for you. Dude, we started dating six months in. Boom. COVID. You guys can't go out. You guys got to really like each other. Well, that okay so that's my question what did you guys do since you guys can you guys just uh, go to each other's apartment or I, don't know, house? I think it was like a blessing and a curse well yeah. curse because like we couldn't go out and like go out to dates but it's a blessing because i got to know her on like a deeper level and i think that was the cool part oh, okay. so like our communication skills is like insane and growing up not having that like people talking about their feelings and all that stuff mm-hmm. it's been interesting to see because we can talk about anything and i know i get that a lot like why didn't God come with you? Why didn't she this? Like, I feel like she's the most supportive person that she knows. Like, if she can't come, then it's okay. Um, I'm following what I want to do, and she's here to mm-hmm. support me. Mm-hmm. And that's because during COVID, we would talk about each other's dreams and things that we wanted to do. And I don't know. It's pretty cool. It's kind of cool seeing that. We love a supportive queen, actually. Let's run a round of applause. But you're talking about dreams. So what is your dream? What was your dream in 2020 when you guys would talk, have those conversations? Um, I've always, I've always loved singing. Mm -hmm. i've always loved it i don't know exactly like i've always liked smaller artists and i've paid attention to when smaller artists stay pretty small um they still get to like their fans feel very connected to them you know what i mean i don't know if my main goal and i think that's sometimes what i struggle with do i want to be like super duper famous to where i completely forget where i came from and i don't have time to like spend with my fans i don't like that word but i don't have time to spend with my fans i don't know if that's like a main main goal but i do want to be known like i do want singing to be my career whether it be a small studio mm-hmm. or a big one either or i'd be happy with but i definitely do like the process of you know still doing stuff really small like when i went to san antonio that was like 
for me, that was big. Many people might be, wow, you went to San Antonio and you're saying anybody could do that. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. But I enjoyed it because I got to meet so many of my followers. And that, to me, like, it still sticks with me. And I'm still grateful for it. That's dope. That's yeah, dope. that was pretty cool. I want to ask you, who? what do you see? Or if you want to name an artist, like, who's big, who's small, who's medium? Because you, you say you don't... No, you're not sure if you want to be mm-hmm. freaking Michael Jackson, hella big, right? Or oh, that was a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, okay, kind of like, oh, this might be. Please don't take it in the wrong way because she was, she is still very iconic. But mm-hmm. Selena, when she first started, like many people didn't know who she really was, and I love seeing those videos where she would sing at like parties. Yeah, and I would be like, dang, people don't know how insane that is to have someone at your party like that Mm -hmm. but i do like how she remained the same from being at a boda or a quince or whatever she was singing at at a party a festival to like big stadiums she still stayed the same so i liked the beginning process of where selena was because she got to experience hanging out with her fans and being around them and i like that connection that people tend to still have when they're pretty small yeah and with selena she didn't even do like she she didn't grow to the full potential yeah because her life unfortunately was taken away Mm -hmm. but yeah just imagine if that never that situation never happened like bro Mm -hmm. she would have probably blew up yeah like hella big um so yeah and i think that's what's crazy like even right now with javi when people see him that he's going on tour and i have Mm -hmm. seen like he does get quite a bit of hate right now especially because he's so young but people are like wow he he's what a small stadium like everybody starts somewhere everybody starts somewhere right now it could be his small stadium because it's his first tour you never know how big an artist is but later on when he's really big guarantee you people are going to complain about it but you know you were making fun of him when he was in a small stadium you know so yeah i don't know i think it's just you never really win with people anyway so i'm i'd be content honestly with just being able to do what i love with people who love what I do. That's and especially doing it as quote unquote work. Like mm-hmm. you're working, but you're doing what you love. Exactly. Which is hella dope. Um, so yeah, when when did you when did you realize you had a voice, like a singing, like you were able to express your feelings with singing? I still don't really I'm like you. I don't really like take it in when oh you have a really good voice. Mm-hmm. You're like mm, Dude, I? if I had a record do label, I? I'll sign you right now, like straight like, up. Do I? <laughs> but <laughs> Uh, middle school, I listened to Amor Eterno, and Amor Eterno was very like, dang, this is a deep song. How did I understand a, such a sad song? I don't know. Like, Did you understand I, it? I was going through it, bro. I've been a senora <laughs> since middle school. I kid you not. Yeah. Um, but just seeing how Rocio Durca, like, if you ever watch her videos, she sang so effortlessly. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of art artists, like women artists, sing so effortlessly. Just like, le sale como si nada. Yeah. And... I wanted to do that. I'm like, how do I? I was a, I was in band, so I know about like tonos and stuff. Hey, I was in band too, bro. <laughs> Dude, you're my fucking twin, bro. Dude, you're they were like, twin. hey, what instrument is the same height as you? The trombone. <laughs> I could have been with Peso Pluma, dude. Yeah, dude. What the hell? Anyway. Wait, how long? Wait, sorry, I know. You know what? Just go. Keep going. No, keep no, going, no, no. Going. I was in it until high school. So, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, right, right. like marching band and everything. Dude, dude I was in marching band, band too. <laughs> <laughs> We're geeking out right now. Dude, what the right, hell? Let's start our own band. <laughs> dum, 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 Grupo dum, Pesado <laughs> XL, <dude. laughs> I'm a medium. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Um, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Damn. We're talking about Amor Eterno and you bust out I with know, I'm damn. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So going okay. back. Amor Eterno. So, I can't even talk. Middle school to answer the question. Mm-hmm. But I didn't really like. Didn't really think anything of it. Like, I, oh yeah, I seem somewhat good. But then. Because when I at the time I was still going to church and stuff, people okay. were like, "Tienes una voz bien bonita," and da 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 da. And then in high school, I think it was in one of my classes. One of my teachers was like, "I heard you can sing." Mm-hmm. I was like, "I can't. I don't know who you're talking <laughs> about." And then I would sing at school assemblies for like Cinco de Mayo. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it was pretty. I mean, it was pretty cool. And so I'm like, okay, I must have a good voice, but. I don't know. I think the more, like, the older I got, that's when I realized. Okay, cool. Did you ever do, like, talent shows? I did. I did, but not in school. I was, like, too shy for that. 
Um. I know, believe it or not, I was I'm still shy. Uh but <laughs> <laughs> sure, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> um I don't know, I was too shy for that. I didn't really like want people knowing that I sang, but yeah. I did when I got older. I did like Tengo Talento. They never called me. That yeah, I was gonna fake. ask you on that. Like, did that you ever do? Fake. Did you ever do like the Voice X Factor, like um, Tengo Talento or whatever? Believe it or not, I tried out for American Idol three times. I'm too old for it now because, believe it or not, they have an age restriction. What the hell? You didn't know that? No. They have an age restriction. I thought anyone could go. No, they said either you're young or you're not. So they called me old. You're dead ass. Yeah. Oh my god. What? They reach That's okay. Stupid. Um, even most recently. When my video did really good on Instagram, it was an Ana Gabriel cover. Mm -hmm. They reached out to me. Oh, shoot. And I told them, I was like, I looked at your age restriction. So I, I'm i past the age restriction. They're like, oh, so sorry to hear about that. And that's it? That's it. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Bro, that's stupid. Dude. I tried out for them three times. And I kid you not, two of the times that I auditioned for them, the people literally just... What's your name? Mm. Where are you singing for us? All right. And like didn't look up at me or nothing. It's like they don't care. I, I, won't, I won't lie though. And I've always said this. I've said this on my lives too. Like I don't think my, it sounds funny, but I don't think my voice is strong enough in English. People to it's, tell me do a Whitney it's Houston. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Dos, Ani, dos. Uh, <laughs> it's really not. And I can like admit certain things like, don't ask me to do a Whitney Houston song. I can't. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Like, I cannot do her any justice. Uh, I like singing, like, Adele, like, Billy. Like, those are very, like, soft songs mm -hmm. uh, that I feel like I can hit those those tonos. But there's certain songs where I really can't. And there's certain runs that I can't. So, like, I'd love to learn techniques, which when people say, like, you need singing lessons. I don't take any offense to it because there's always, like, room to grow. Yeah. But... Yeah, I understand that I, my voice is not the strongest in English, but, like, to not even look up at me when I'm singing, like, I think that was just, it, it fucked with my confidence did, so, did, so much. Did, did, did you perform an English song? Mm -hmm. It was an Adele song. Oh, uh, okay. I can't remember what Adele, because that had that had to have been, like, the early songs. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. But so, yeah, I understand it. It's wild. It's wild. And then Tengo Talento, um, I just struggle with this a lot. And people, like, hopefully and I, I never want to talk about it because i feel like people think i complain about it mm -hmm. but i just feel like in our culture now we're coming a little bit more open to how artists look and how they present themselves mm -hmm. but at the time that i auditioned like i'm a little short little lesbian trying to sing Rosalurcal songs and people just don't like really care for that you know what i mean and as much as people say like oh you always put that as an excuse it's just that we we didn't have artists that dress differently like that. Yeah. Um, and I feel like a lot of artists have always kept it very private and I'm very open because I work so hard to be myself. Like I'm not about to put myself in a box just so that I fit whatever you want me to be, you know? So um, I sang really good. The crowd did go like mid. I'm just kidding. <laughs> mid. <laughs> Look, Wait, what song did you sing? Um, it's a, a song called La Muerte del Palomo. It's not really mm. known, but... I like to do challenging songs that could show my voice potential. Yeah. And it has like a runoff like sentence. And so I'm like under one breath that like that's impressive. And so people like I, I kid you not. I always talk about the senora. I wish I could find her because she like touched my arm. She's like, si no te hablan, son bien, you know, and and, yes. And so she's talking to you, Pepe. <laughs> Uh, it's crazy. It's not them. You never audition for the 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 main people. What the heck? Yeah, people always think that you never audition. So you for the main you people. audition first, and then if you make it to the next round, you go to Pepe. There's and like them? three rounds before you actually meet them. What? Mm hmm. They lied to us, bro. What show does it? I know. But yeah, so I auditioned for them, and I never got a call. I never like nothing. Um, and I've tried out for radio shows and. I've gotten a comment where, like, it looks like she's not even trying. And I'm like, what do you want me to do? If I make a face, don't make faces. If I sing it very easily, oh, she doesn't even care to sing. And it's like, mm. get kidding. Get kidding to me. Yeah. But, yeah. It's tough. But like you said, it's, uh, I think our culture is not acceptive of, like, accepting mm -hmm. or accepting of, you know, mm -hmm. <sighs> what's the right term? Because I don't want to get canceled. <laughs> canceled, honey. People... 
No, no, I was going to cancel it. <laughs> but, you know. Um, yeah. And it's just, it's crazy when people say, like, oh, you just, you think about it too much. It's, if you're not in my shoes, it's kind of hard to understand. Exactly. Or, or feel like, oh, you just feel that because of blah, 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 blah. Like, I'm the one living it. I know that certain opportunities, I would have gotten them if I would change my ways. Till this day, I still get comments like, you need to let your hair grow. You need to wear a dress. You need, like... I have no idea what that has to do with my voice, and I don't know why it bothers you so much. But like, if you like my voice, but you don't like how I look, close your eyes. And is the it's the older people telling you this, not like uh-huh. the more, or is it everybody? I just think if you just never, um, you've never been okay with people being different, mm-hmm. and or just being mm-hmm. their true self, you people just project on you, and they have problem a problem with it. Because I've always talked about this stuff, me and like, you guys tell me to wear a dress. But I know it's not just that. Because if I wear a dress and I still keep my hair short and I still wear sneakers, little by little, you're going to want to change everything about me. So it wasn't just put on a dress. It, it's more than that. And if I'm not for you, that's okay. Like, I'm, I'm for someone else, you know? Yeah. And it's okay. But it's just the whole, like, constantly getting that type of, like, repetitive, like, let your hair grow. I like your voice. But if you had your hair long, if I had my hair long, I'd still have the same voice. Like, it's not... Is, yeah. It's the same thing. So you're talented. Sure. Like it's, I'm not for that's, everyone. You know? that, yeah, that's not gonna change mm-hmm. with you wearing a dress, having long hair, or whatever. But yeah, I think that in my opinion, it's more like the older crowd mm-hmm. because if you go to like the younger crowd, Gen Z, like they're more accepting of who people are now, just because how the times have changed. Um, but yeah, now we have female artists that wear hats, yeah. you know, dress the same almost the same as you popping up and I, I think that's a good thing but you just have to find that i don't even know if it's like como se dice, like a record label mm-hmm. that would accept you for who you are yeah or i, I mean you could go independent yeah. a lot of people went independent because of tiktok yeah so i mean we could record something put it out there and uh yeah un corrido, Dani. Un corrido de Dani Flores. <laughs> i'm gonna make the corrido times two Times two. <laughs> you already have one. Oh, I do have one. Shout out to Louis. Shout out to Louis. I do have Shout one. Shout out Louis. Um, but talking about record labels, have you ever like gotten hidden up? Like people, or not even record labels, but like someone that's in the music industry, maybe trying to help you out? Negative. No? No. I've, well, I have had one, but they completely ghosted me. Um, Wait, which really is this tea? It's not tea. It's, it's not tea. Okay. Let it get cold. Okay, okay. Let your ice cold drinks stay cold. <laughs> It's not tea. Um, I just, I don't really talk about certain things. I mm-hmm. I was even asked about a situation that went pretty viral recently. And I always say this, like, if someone wants to do something for you, they're going to do it and fully commit to it. Mm-hmm. Um, and if they don't, like, I can't hold anything against them. You know what I mean? It's not like they physically handed me something and then they took it back. I think that's pretty foul, you know? Yeah. But no i feel like most of the time i get ghosted quite often which really sucks um but i don't come out and like hit you up and tell you danny did really this happen like yeah i know <laughs> because i just feel like it, cuando venga mi tiempo va a ser mi tiempo no do i see the same thing <laughs> yeah because si, si no pasó maybe like it was just protecting me from something else you know like mm-hmm. what if what if i just i wasn't meant to be with that particular label or like what if i wasn't meant or or ready for such drastic of a change in my life you know it is what it is yeah todo su tiempo yeah. and i feel like you you brought up like the people ghosting you um which i do want to get into i don't know mm-hmm. i mean we have yeah. a cheese section here obviously oh fucking cheese uh but no i feel like I've, I've i've gone to through something similar to like where people's like for example, the podcast were like, yeah, I'll go on your podcast. And then I'm like, okay, cool. Like they they kind of play with you, you know, just so mm-hmm. they could get you hyped up. Like, uh, let's see what yeah. he does. So, yeah, I have people like that too. Like, okay, cool, whatever. After like, yo, I'm just reaching back out. A ver que pedo. Nothing goes. Yeah. And I just find it kind of stupid that people do that. I'm saying like influencers in my situation. I don't know if influencers or artists mm-hmm. do that to you. But, yeah, they're like yo I'm, I'm a go but they they don't show up or they just ghost you and like it's just stupid like yeah 
bro, if you're going to just come, if not, or, just, or if not, just tell me no. Like, <laughs> easy I, as that. I've talked about that. It's like, if it's not going to do anything for them, then they, they don't want to pull through. Do yes. And like for me, I told myself I'm willing to take any opportunity this year. Mm -hmm. Like you giving me a chance, like I don't care about whether you have a lot of followers or if you don't or if this is a little podcast. Like it doesn't matter. Like if you genuinely want to help out that person or you guys want like or you want I want pe people to know me or like people to get to know me porque mm -hmm. like I go mala personas, even though I'm just being myself. Like I'm not doing anything to make people not like me, at least from what I I personally understand or feel, but I just don't understand why people can't just communicate. Communication just goes a long way. Like yeah. before this, I had told you, hey, I'm going through it, but I'm still going to come. Like if I'm just low energy, I'm really sorry or whatever. But I just think it's just you can it's it's OK to say no. It's mm -hmm. OK to be like, hey, I would love to, but I'm currently very busy with X, Y, Z yeah invest it just ghosting people like i think being ghosted feels very very like harsh i've gotten something where i've been super excited about and i was just completely ghosted yeah, and i was that's like the worst. i was like cool 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 cool. and then cool, and, and then you feel like you have something against them now because like oh you ghosted <sighs> me okay and i'm gonna I'm I'm say how it is yeah. because when people do that ghost me or whatever like okay when i pop off let's see who's gonna want me now yeah. like you know what i mean you yeah. entre me like las nubes but Let's, let's to, hope we pop up. <laughs> <laughs> I try to be as understanding as possible. Like, yeah. just because maybe maybe they were really busy and that's why they didn't answer my 10 text uh, messages. Yeah. Or maybe 10 text messages was excessive. Not that I've ever sent Damn, 10 Damn, you said 10. <laughs> Thirsty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, like, I try to be understanding, but you do feel some sort of way when you're like, damn, that could have been me. Like, so why, like, what happened? Or it, it does create a lot of self-doubt in my head mm -hmm. to where I'm like, damn, why, like, why hasn't it been me? Like, what's wrong with me or what am I not bringing to people's attention to make them not like me? Like, I'm just like everybody else. If anything, I feel like my content is very, when I do post like vlogs or when I'm not posting singing content, like I'm very like what I'm living right now. Yeah. You know, I'm not flying out everywhere i'm not buying all these like brands and all this stuff not like i'm the funk i'm not trying to sell people anything like i get it everybody can go out and get their bag and chase their coin but i know that some people are kind of like me we're struggling we can't we don't have xyz amount of money to just throw on something because some people are lit literally living to like este es mi único cheque y me quedaron cinco dólares mm -hmm. that's all i got for myself and so that's my type of stuff and I just feel like people try to find creators that are relatable, but you guys don't even give them the time of day, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know. And if those create quote unquote creators, smaller creators don't bring value to them. They're not, they're not, they're yeah, really they're not. not Cause like you. I have, you know, my followers like we need to get you on so-and-so's podcast or so-and-so's. And I'm like, I would be real. They're probably going to go to my page and be like 10 K views. Yeah. It's so, it's sad it, it too sucks. that they go it really through. Does yeah. suck. You know, it'd be cool if you did give someone an opportunity, but I understand if you don't have the viewers, if if they go to your page and they really don't like your content, then they're not obligated to bring you on. That's totally understandable, but it does make you feel like damn, like what's wrong with me or like that does bring up like oh, but al ratito, you know, uh, it's gonna take me my time, <laughs> yeah. but oh. I, I would be that type of person like, oh, yeah, dude, I remember back in the day mm -hmm. I wanted to be here and you never you never gave me a chance. <laughs> dude, I'm just uh, saying, and then can you imagine they're like, I wait. Oh, yeah. I got, yeah, that I've seen that happen with a lot of people like on social media, like, mm -hmm. oh, shit, they hit me up a long time ago, but I never read it or I never got back to them. And then they blew up and they're like, oh, can we have you on? <laughs> um, but would you consider yourself a petty person? Uh, No. No, no, because there's a lot of stuff that I could be, like if I wanted to be petty, there's many things that I could be very petty about. And like I've even told you too, like there's many things that I if I wanted to, I could go to a cheesement page and blow it all up and make mm -hmm. it something bigger. But like for what? Like, yeah. do you do you want later on to be known because, oh, medium is currently in some cheesement with so and so. Did you know that this and this? And it's like at the end, it's going to come right back to me and it's. It's never going to make the person who ghosted you look bad. It's going to make me look bad. It's like, esa morra es bien chismosa. Don't even, like, get her hyped up because mm -hmm. then she goes off telling all these chisme pages or whatever. I just feel like 
si no es el, el momento correcto, just wait for it to be the right one, you know? Yeah. So it is what it is. So you started TikTok in what, mm-hmm. 2020? Yeah. Okay. And from 2020 to now, have you ever been in like any quote unquote drama? That is, let me say this. That yeah. is worth talking about. Um, No, that no. I know of. I know that there was um, disagreements mm-hmm. or something that was taken completely wrong. Um, I, I am a person about owning things in person, right? So, yeah. like, if I did, like, let's say we did our fake little drama, right? Mm-hmm. If it was legit, I would reach out to you privately, mm-hmm. always. Like, because I want it to be sincere. I think when people, I get people, like, I know this is your job too. Like you love cheese man stuff, mm-hmm. but sometimes not everything always has to be brought out. You know what I mean? You don't always have to bring everything to the table because then that's when it gets messy. That's when people start, you know, inventando cosas. Yeah. And I like that you do like, I need receipts, right? Because people would just always go by hearsay. Mm-hmm. And if there's no receipts, then like, you know, yeah. I want you to prove that I did say or did do something and if you can't, and if you're just saying it, like, you're really letting people, like, come at me or say things about me. Mm-hmm. Um, I think when a situation did happen, um, I try to handle it privately. And if you wanted to bring it out publicly, then that's on you. But just because someone doesn't answer to people constantly asking about you, that doesn't necessarily mean, like, that you were in the wrong. It's just that, you know, I, I personally don't, I'm going to handle it with you privately. And if you want to take it publicly, like that's all on you if you want to feed into it. But I'm not going to feed into it. Yeah, I feel like that's why there's cheesement channels, because mm-hmm. a lot of influencers take it publicly, speak on uh, the matters that's going on. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, bro, like you said, some cheesements are are not worth it. Yeah, <laughs> like They're really not. They're not worth it. I just always see it like, are people going to know me for a medium because of my page and because I sing? Mm-hmm. Or Miriam because she was involved in this blah, 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 cheese man with so-and-so and this and this and this and that. I don't personally think I've ever been in, like, cheese man, cheese man, but that people wanted to create cheese man, then that's a different thing, you know? Yeah. But I don't know. I've never really liked it. I feel like a lot of situations could be solved by talking in privately. Always. Not everything has to be public. And I know followers are insinuators, dude. They freaking love that type <laughs> of shit. They love it. But that's where the person also has to be like, is it worth for me? to bring in it out even though this miss me and this person squashed it mm-hmm. like or they can even say that you know like hey i did my best and they didn't want to talk about it and that's okay they don't have to sometimes people don't have to accept your apology and you have to be okay with that if they yeah. don't accept it then they just don't accept it and I, you move I, on at least you did your job yeah. by apologizing yeah and that's on them yep yeah. agree but yeah i don't i don't know why influencers like to take Sometimes it's like personal stuff too, like on social media. It's like, bro, like I personally, I don't know if you heard me saying this, but when it comes to like family, if like family have have a cheese man going on, I don't like to speak on it on social media because mm. I feel like that should be taken care of privately. Like for instance, there was a situation with a uh, influencer and her mom going at it, and um. They were like, yo, speak on it, speak on it. I'm like, nah, dude, because I personally wouldn't like it if me and my mom or my siblings or my dad had a feud on social media and then mm-hmm. someone put it out there and then people start commenting on that. And then the mom, the influencer start reading it and they actually stop talking yeah. for like a long, bro, like that's your mom, dog. That's your daughter or whatever. So I, I personally don't like talking about situations like that. Yeah. yeah. People said pasan. son. Uh, a lot and i think i've learned over the years to just be a little bit more private about certain things mm-hmm. um i don't really talk ever about my insecurities um unless i'm doing something to change it you know what i mean um because people will use it against you i and i was talking to you about this too like i i try talking about my mental health but then i don't because i know that that's what's gonna be used against me eventually you mm-hmm. know like Oh, esta, esta morra nomás anda chillando cada rato. And it's like, because I struggle with it. Like, I don't just say it to, to talk about it. You know what I mean? Like, Loki was going to end up in grippy socks at one point. And it's because of life. Like, life sucks sometimes. And you just don't know how to handle your emotions. But I feel like I never try that or I try to talk about it just because then people will, oh, that's, it's happening to her because she wants to fake that she's always 
fucking sad or esto y lo otro, but you always have to be careful with what you share because if mm -hmm. not, the moment that people can use it against you, they're going to use it against you. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I don't, I like keeping myself private too, mm -hmm. but I'm trying to uh, just share a little bit more just because in my case, I feel like this is why I took a break because people were just there for a quote unquote me for mm -hmm. the cheese and not yeah. there for me, you know? Yeah. So it kind of sucks when you go on and then you do talk about whatever you want to talk about. And then for instance, you only have like 20 people watching. Yeah. Oh, fuck. But I then, think, yeah. Sorry to interrupt. You. No, you're, good, you're good. You're good. I think that's where my block is. If I look at my content, that is where my block is because it's, it's just singing and people don't want to get to know me. Mm -hmm. I have my handful of followers, like, Rachel, I'm going to bring her up again. She was just one of my followers. And, like, I do care about my followers. I do care about people who join in and talk to me. Like, I have followers that are, like, currently battling cancer. And I check in on them all the time just because I want to make sure that they're still there. Fuck. Yeah. I don't know why I'm fucking crying. You need a tissue? <laughs> yeah. Um, I but I, I just feel like people really don't care to, like, know me, know me. Like, they mm -hmm. just, sometimes ando llorando, like, no sé qué está pasando, pero me cantas esta canción. And you're like. <laughs> yeah, it's like. <laughs> and it's like, as much as I love it, you know, when an artist gets off the stage, like, let them be a person. I'm not saying I'm an artist, but I'm just saying, yeah. like, or when you see your favorite rapper out and about, like, let them be that person and not the rapper. Like, get to know people, get to, like, you know, so that's why right now, like, I love living in the moment. So I haven't even vlogged anything, like, the way here or coming mm -hmm. here. Because I just want to enjoy it because I never got to enjoy things like this, like flying out or like meeting friends that I actually had online. Like I yeah. had lots of friends online before, but I I don't know. I just feel like that's my my stopping point. Porque no hago otra cosa más que cantar. Mm -hmm. And when I try to change it up a little bit, they don't they don't find it interesting because they just were. I mean, I get it. When you have a niche, you have to stick to it. Or whatever and that's why i never really like the whole like if you have a niche you gotta stick to it like i'm a person too i'm not uh and you know a jukebox i can't yeah. i can't always be singing but i do have a handful of followers that do really care for me and like do really want to know me um because a lot of them right now they have seen that i haven't really been as active mm -hmm. pasando todo bien? like they'll check in on me now so which is really nice because i am going through it but i don't know i don't know yeah, it's uh, it's it's hard um being on social media. Mm -hmm. That's why I I I went through it last year in November, December. Mm -hmm. I was legit, bro. Like, as I was gonna say, you know what? Screw social media. I'm gonna go find a nine nine to five because mm -hmm. I just couldn't handle it anymore. Like, I saw myself, like you said, like no one was there for me. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, I do have the people that you know. Shout out to all my followers that are are real, are real ones. Mm -hmm. Uh, not just there for the cheese man, but it's like. It sucks when you just see those numbers like, bro, like y'all just here because you want cheese me or because of me. But yeah, it's a, I, I could relate so much to what, what you said. And it's hard because like when you do struggle with it, like fully people see, like when I try to talk about it, they see it as complaining. But you're like, of course, it's going to be frustrating when I just scrolled through someone's live and they're legitimately just sleeping and they have 15,000 viewers like yeah how does that work how does that function like is that what i gotta do like i'm not down to do it you know or like oh my god for the longest time when those like what are those lives called when they just like the battles no the npc the, yes uh, and i was like i don't get it i yeah. don't get it but i told my followers like if you see me doing that mind your business and they can mess it look at them yeah no me va a tragar la pobreza okay because but it's kind of hard when you do struggle with it because you you start to doubt yourself a lot. You start to question yourself a lot. And that's where I feel like people don't tend to understand it. Like, But you always have to be like, I got to think of it sometimes. There's certain singers that like watching me, and I know that they would want to be in the position that I'm in. Mm -hmm. And so like, I can't always be stuck on like, look at where XYZ are at. Because I know that someone else is probably wanting my position. Yeah. And I'm taking it for granted. You know, like, mm -hmm. yeah, I might have 60 followers, like, just looking at my live right now. But someone only has two. And they're just singing to those two. Yeah. So why am I just, you know, I sometimes mm -hmm. have to, like, remind myself and ground myself and snap back into reality. Like, 
to not take it for granted, you know, so. Yeah, I would get those comments, too, like when I posted the, oh, I'm quitting the Cheeseman Report. Um, I forgot someone had, uh, I don't know who it was, but someone commented under that video saying, like, yo, like, you're just, you're complaining when you have this great job that everyone wants, mm -hmm. as in, like, you know, a social media person. I'm like, bro, like, we go through shit, too. Yeah. Social media is a, I always say this, it's like a time-consuming, hard job because you always got to think of new ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, what do I do next? What do I film next? Like, what the hell? And people don't see it like that. People think it's, you just wake up, turn on the camera, and that's it. Like, it's It's, it's just not. people forget that we're still human at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Like, just because we don't talk about everything, just because I keep things a little bit more private, um, doesn't mean that I don't go through things just like you go through things. So... Mm -hmm yeah maybe sometimes i may be complaining but maybe it's just because you don't know exactly what's happening in the background to where and people don't know either like Como a ti, yo te dije, oh i don't get paid by tiktok because i never signed up for anything yeah and you were like mind blown so any because i saw this one time would you be would you be doing what you're doing if you weren't getting paid for it yeah because i am like i'm doing it because i truly do like it and i do love mm -hmm. it and i love what i do like i like being on live and talking to my followers to hang out with them i like singing to them you know but would i do it for free that's exactly what i'm doing like i'm doing it for free pretty yeah. much and so i don't know people just don't realize Yo todavía tengo cosas que hacer. like i still gotta work because if i don't work you guys complain about that too <laughs> so you never make anybody happy regardless so i don't know they just don't take in consideration like how sometimes we do get hate comments all the time or and you try your best to you do not you don't read them yeah i, 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 I reply I, to them yeah i try i try not to read them just because yeah uh when i was reading them it really got to me so i'm saying you know what i'm done i mean sometimes i do like w once i upload it like 10 minutes in uh you know how people comment oh first mm -hmm. second or whatever yes i i heart those i said oh appreciate you whatever uh but yeah after that after 20 minutes i'm like nah because then it's gonna get rowdy up in here <laughs> i feel really i feel really bad right now because i'm just uploading and i'm not really replying to people and someone did comment that the other day like you never you never thank anybody for your blah 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 and it's and it took so much in me to not really like respond in a mean way because i'm just like right now bro like responding it's not that you're not my priority right now it's just that i'm going through so much i'm still trying to like post what i can mm -hmm. but i can't if i see one bad comment i just know i just might end up like yeah it's saying gonna... something i shouldn't saying something you know and i just you have to respond in a nice way like i'm doing my absolute best like yeah I'm it's trying. gonna push you over the edge yeah and so that's why kind of i haven't really been on live um and I haven't really been posting or, like, replying to people. But it's just because I want to make sure that, like, no me paso de lanza or don't take things way too personal. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's what I should have done in the beginning as well. Because yeah. I got fired from my job for defending myself and my appearance. And when I first started TikTok, that was the first thing that was constantly coming at me. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like in the principio creo que si la cague un poquito, cause, <laughs> but I can own up to it, you know. Like I was just taking things way too personal, and you can't take it too personally in this stuff. Like, si, per, si personas want to think certain things about you, like you gotta just pick what battles you want to fight. Yeah, definitely. Um, so going uh going to uh TikTok like on on how you started um when because a lot of people think. Well, I, I think this too. Sometimes like TikTok is the best platform to grow an audience. Mm -hmm. So when you first started, like how long did it take to, I don't know, let's say hit 100K for you? Um, so I started in 2020, but it wasn't like serious videos, right? It just was, messing it was just around. like messing around. Like I used to work at a coffee shop and I would like greet people and sing to them <laughs> like that. <laughs> Literally, if you scroll all the way down, you'll still find it. Scroll but, all the way down right stop. now. <laughs> but, but, um, I didn't start taking it seriously till 2021 20, around there. 21, mm -hmm. 21, 22. One of those years. Um, I posted a song cover because my, I have two friends that are in social media, like Anai, who's my barber. And then my friend, um, Shelly, she also is a barber, but she's a barber in San Diego. 
Okay. And so they had heard me sing. They are just like, dude, why don't you ever post those videos? Like, why don't you post singing videos? And I'm like, I have. And they're like, I've never seen them. And I'm like, that's why. Like, I don't, I don't <laughs> post anymore. And they're just like, dude, let's film a video together. And so they were, we filmed a video where they were pretty much saying, like, when your friend, like I said, cantar always has to show out. And so they inspired me to, like, start posting. So I would post, and they would all flop. Like, all of them. Just... And then one time my sister said, Mira, canta esta de Ana Gabriel. Te va a salir muy bien. And that one just took off. It was just 10K, 20K, 30K, 40K. I think I grew to 100K in a few months. Like, Damn. very, like, I had a thousand followers, but then I was celebrating 100K. Damn, it was that's pretty crazy. fast. It was pretty fast. And then. I had, like, a very, like, flatline era. I think it was at my 250. I flatlined for the longest time. Like, I want to say almost a year I flatlined. And I just didn't, I don't know. I was posting the same content. I was very consistent with it. But I wasn't growing. And so, I don't know. I started just posting whatever I wanted after. And Did you, did you see growth after that? Like, were you posting whatever? Yeah, not really. To be honest, like, I think it took me even a month after that. Like, I only grew, like, 1K. It wasn't even that much. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what video it was again. I think it was another Ana Gabriel cover that made me, like, shoot up to 300. And then there's just certain covers that do very well. Yeah. And, like, those are the ones that helped me grow. And most recently it was, like, um, the Chiquis idea. And that's the one that helped me get higher up too okay so that's uh i guess we could get into that you brought up cheekies because yesterday mm -hmm. when we were live people asked you yeah um what did they ask like did cheekies ever thank you or did she ever pull through which because she oh she invited okay yeah me tell to... us tell us the cheese oh man. my god you're so nice it's not cheese man <laughs> it's fucking cheese man <sighs> but you're cheese saying man. it here oh my gosh okay <laughs> i did a video i give cheekies an idea and she actually followed through and she posted it on her instagram she did a video but wait what was the idea um because Jenny Rivera has this iconic she has this iconic um her Jenny Rivera had this like iconic like perdón perdón Dios mío por decir majaderías pero como chingan yeah because I mean love or hate her like she gets a lot of hate bro and like honestly if Jenny Rivera was my mom Jenny Rivera has some iconic, like, sayings, bro. And so that moment is when her family drama was happening. And mm -hmm. I don't like, I don't really keep up with that and stuff. But I was just like, dude, I was in a coffee line. And I was just like, <laughs> my God. And all I can think of was Jenny in my head, like, como chinga. Yeah. And so I was like, <laughs> damn, I should give that to, like, Chiquis. I should tell her, like, she should open up her concert. Because she gets it, like, from so many people all the time. Like, Personally, if I don't like something, I just keep going. You know, I don't they, I don't need to tell them, damn, you this, you that. Like, I just keep going, right? Yeah. And I don't know why people just don't do that with her stuff. Like, if they don't like it, just keep going. But anyways, I got home, and I said, chiquis, en tu siguiente concierto, like, pon esto. And, and I pretty much gave her an idea, and she ended up using that sound on one of her videos to for, like, I think for the end of her tour. Mm -hmm. But she had commented, and she said, um, if I ever do, that's why people are missing. She said, if I ever do this for a show, I'm bringing you to a show. Uh, and so she hasn't done it at a show. So there's, it's not that she hasn't pulled through. It's just that like, if she's not doing it, then she's obviously not going to have me there. Yeah. But people are expecting it mm -hmm. because she said it. But it's like, I tell you this all the time too. Like, I don't expect things for people to do them. Like if they say it, cool. If she gave me my follows thankful for that grateful for it um even johnny recently también followed me and i mm -hmm. think i'm not i'm not like gonna harass them or tell them that they have to pull through or like i don't know i just i just thought it's like she's not doing it at her show so why would she take me yeah you know so i don't know i think i'm still grateful because i mean i gained a following from it and stuff but since she said that that's what people are going to expect from her now but taking consideration, she said if she did it at a show. And she hasn't done she it. She hasn't done it. She did it on a video, though. So that was pretty cool. Oh, like the TikTok video? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw that. And your video went viral, too. Like 3 million. 
No, or four. The, the one cheekies more. one. The one that you told her yeah, to. Yeah, it was like at 3.8, 3.7. dude. Miss Viral, we hear. Shit. I have hella ideas, so if anybody needs help, let me know. I have ideas, too. Hey, I no, gave, I no, gave no, her I an idea no, that went viral, no. too. Bro. Oh, that, <laughs> that, one went, <laughs> that one went viral, dude. Dude, I'm, <gasps> I'm full of ideas. Dude, it's becoming... Um, no, I did another one. I'll tell you about this one, but... Yeah, Danny sent me this, like, video where he's, like, how was it saying? It was like, a karaoke one. Yeah, like, mis amigos, solo va a ser karaoke. And so I did it to Alicia Villarreal, which shout out to Alicia Villarreal because she also, like. She hey, followed you? Doing? She didn't follow me, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but she she knows who I am, which okay, is pretty cool. cool. Um, I made it a series, but unfortunately, they're all muted. <sighs> all I of know, them. Because TikTok took all the of music. Them are, are, all of them are muted. Oh, I kid you not. That was also what helped me. Remember I told you, I was like, I don't know what else helped me jump, mm -hmm. but it was that. It the was the, the transition videos where I oh. went transition. But all of them are muted, except the banda machos. Banda, no, but, oh my God. Cut that out. It's banda magay. <laughs> nope. That's the thing. Stop, no. <laughs> it was banda magay. I did another one. And that's becoming a trend. And they're not giving me my credit. Damn. Not banda magay, but another bigger creator. They stole my yeah. idea. You're so dumb. Damn, they stole my no. idea. Uh, before that one? No, Damn. you sent me after it. You None. sent me this after it. Look, listen. Nope. <laughs> I did the other one first. The Yeah, the karaoke one. No, I didn't do the karaoke one first. I did the Vanda Magay one. The one with the uh the, the, the little the saco? jacket? Yeah, and I think that's why you sent me the karaoke one. Uh probably, probably. So I did the Vanda Magay one and I do a little kick. And I changed into my little banda magay jacket. Yeah. And that it was for it was for, for like Christmas. I put que vas a traer para Navidad. I said el show. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw this other big creator recent I did comment. Damn, I'm in pity. I'm in pity. You commented? <laughs> yeah, I said, Oh gracias por hacer el trend. <laughs> Hello Messi. <laughs> it's cause she's she had like over a million followers. And she did this same exact transition. She like did the kick and she put in she put on uh, her jacket okay. and i was like that's literally mine like Can you I, say her name or no, no i don't no? remember I didn't, I didn't keep track of her no i didn't <laughs> i just commented uh damn but i was just like that's messy but I it, mean, it is what it is it is what it is i mean besame mucho tour posted my video and ghosted me damn do you have a lot of cheese me in your life tell us about that they used one of my videos and like wait of you dancing or singing it was the karaoke one to promote oh the one oh. to promote that alicia villarreal was gonna be there bro they would at least they should at least pay you for that they didn't do anything they didn't even answer my dms damn that's dirty dude you couldn't wait where did they post the tiktok or they uh, posted it on their instagram i think you could have like copyrighted <laughs> <laughs> I would have been petty like hey on no. uh I, I think I was just ass. sad because I did see them invite a lot of creators. Mm -hmm. And I was just like self-doubting again. Oh wait. why yeah, like why wasn't I good enough for me to be invited? Yeah, 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 yeah. But was this the one in in, in, in Texas? Austin, in yeah, Austin. Yeah, and I, I love Texas. You should have gotten on them because Yeah, I saw they did I invite love Texas. And Chingo the creator. I know. I saw that. So I was a little like so y'all used my video, but you didn't invite me. Damn. And those uh, influencers got like f backstage, front row. Fuck. I'm not trying to make you feel bad. But fuck. They met Ramon Ayala. I'm just kidding. <laughs> start, start naming everyone. Alicia Villarreal was there. Okay. Damn, yeah, dude. Many, and what sucks is sometimes you know that some of these influencers don't know who they are. Mm -hmm. That's hella The senora me. in me was raging. I'm like... Y'all didn't record Alicia Villarreal? They're but I heard mad. the sound was horrible anyways. I mean, I guess that's their karma, so. I heard the down. So that was horrible. And then the one they did in L.A. was pretty bad, too. Because they said, um, like, I don't know what, if it was the bathrooms or, like, the seating area. Mm -hmm. It was, like, bad. And then just the way they, they put the stages, I guess. Because, like, at least Banda Maguey followed. They, they reposted me on their page. But they followed me on TikTok and on Instagram. And, like, I recently heard that they're going to be touring in U.S. So I'm ready. I got my little jacket ready with the little 
I'm ready. Que me quebren. <laughs> Por favor, alguien quebreme. <laughs> They play quebra quebradito music. I know. <laughs> But I could just imagine you. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Qué trajiste a la banda? Oh, no, I'm not going to tell my... No, hell no. I'm not... No. Well, I have been careful about telling my, my ideas, though. Though, yeah, don't. Because people will rip you off. Because I, I had another good one for Cheekies, but I'm like... Pay me for no <laughs> invite me to your podcast. No, <laughs> I would tell her like, hey, if she ever needs help with ideas, like message me. You already follow me, so like, show me a message. <laughs> no, but going back to like the trend or whatever, that's how TikTok is. No, like, and I know that I'm not gonna be like this. I'm not gonna come out and be like, <laughs> yeah. Danny, put report on this cheese man right here, you know. But it just does suck because going through that self doubt is like cool. You you don't f with my content but you're you're down to copy it and then you get the praise or you get the i just don't like that like it doesn't take much um i did do one uh where i saw it from a smaller creator and it was it's one of my videos that did pretty good too where someone was telling me a negative comment and i like transitioned into jenny doing the little hand sign mm -hmm. i did credit them because okay. i'm like i've had it done to me And it's very foul to go to that person and be like, wow, they had more followers than me and they couldn't even put like a credit. Yeah. And like, I do do that. But there's been times where like they've taken my video and they put the credit, but where it's like impossible to find your, your tag, <laughs> you know, where you like have to tap it and it shows up yeah. or like at the very, very, very bottom of like scrolling down and you're like, oh, there's my tiny little tag, you know? Yeah. And it just sucks. But w was the, was the influencer that, copy your idea uh was she in the same like singing niche she was in like the dancing niche oh uh, okay and so like and it sucks because even dancers get invited to a lot of events like mm -hmm. that you know like if anybody wants to invite me somewhere i'm down to go like i'm here in arizona shout out to phoenix <laughs> and danny but like it just sucks because you're like damn you're like with besame mucho i was a little hurt because i'm like i like a lot of their artists that they're gonna have there You didn't answer my DMs, but you used my video. And you didn't even take it down either. So that's wild. Damn. So I would have been hot, too. <sighs> okay, I'm a little low-key salty about that one. It's okay to be salty. It's because Alicia Villarreal is there. It's okay to be salty. I would, Like I said, I would have been salty the same way you were. Yeah, so it so, does suck. Yeah. But that's why I'm kind of like... I know, I'd rather be posting me one, too. Oh, did she really? Yeah, because I did one to her song. <laughs> it just sucks that they're all muted bro i know it dude, sucks. it's tiktok i can't even do it like that i might make it a series on instagram so like, wait I wait, wait, wait. you know what i think tiktok you could still use the sound like not on the app but if you like play it in in your actual video but i think it has to be 20 seconds or less i think you should try that out Because anything longer than that, then yeah. they'll they'll be like, oh, this is the full song or whatever. No, it's because a lot of the artists, is, like, actual songs are down. Mm -hmm. So a lot of those got muted, dude. They did so good. <laughs> the Lisa Villarreal one did so good, too. It was, like, sitting at, like, two point something. Damn. The karaoke one, that one was... Damn, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, you're this. Don't cry. <sighs> how are you right now? Like, how is everything with TikTok or you as a person... How's uh, everything going? Damn, I start crying. <laughs> okay, don't talk about it then. <laughs> You're like, oh, never mind. No, I'll wait, wait. Can you sing for us? <laughs> <laughs> you like, You're so. You're so annoying, dude. Um, personally, like, I have been very frustrated, and so that's why I think like, I have frustration, and then my mom's really sick right now, and so I'm just like, I can't really focus on. Like social media, like yeah. I can't, I can't really like spend so much of my energy being angry at like, you know, places not inviting me to certain places or me not doing as well as I should be for the following that I have or me not like, I can't focus too much on that because like I have very limited time with someone. And so I kind of been taking a break just because I know I'm going to freaking go batshit crazy if someone says something negative to me. Mm -hmm. And so I've just kind of like taken not a break like i'll answer like but clearly i communicated with you hey i'm not trying to be like a dick and not really answer you but i'm not all here right now and you yeah. were like hey i'll take care of everything else which i appreciate that by the way you were just like don't worry about it i'll take care of it and you just need to just just show hop, up just hop just hop on the plane <laughs> yeah <laughs> you even text me are you um are you at the airport <laughs> yeah dude i wanted to make sure <laughs> <laughs> but um 
it's just a lot of frustration with like a lot of social media of it. I love it and I hate it. I love that it's a place that I can like relate to a lot of people that are going through certain things like me. But I also hate it because I personally feel like if you don't have the looks, if you don't have the following, if you don't have the engagement, if you don't have everything that's supposed to be part of like what social media is, like people like no one's going to want to help you unless it doesn't benefit them. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like the only reason that I wasn't invited to the Best Sabe Mucho thing was because maybe they looked at my numbers and just like, mm, it's not really worth it Yeah. to bring this person out because they don't have the hype or whatever. And it's like, but you could have made yourself look even better because you could have brought someone that wasn't really known and then they could talk way better about you instead of people that have gone to many events. And like, you know, like, or certain, not to, not to make it sound bad, but, like, certain podcasters just inviting the same people over and over, like, they were already on that podcast and this one and this one, like, what more can we learn about them? Yeah, they're, like, like they're basically saying their life over and over, like, yeah. what they've been through, their struggles, yeah, I get yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know, so I, I just kind of take, taken a step back just from myself and my health, because I just, I feel like si me deprimo de lo que está pasando con mi mamá y si me deprimo from... For social my social media. media, like, bro, I'm never going to come out of this one. Like, uh, I just feel like there's just too much to where I've also been like you recently. Like, fuck it. I'm going to go back to being a corporate baddie. Like, yeah. I have to do what I have to do because sometimes people don't realize that, like, you're risking so much to make something happen. And then you start to question yourself, like, damn, this person is already, like, way up here. Like, way up here. And they mm -hmm. just started. And all these influencers know them. And it's like... I've been at it for a while and like exactly you know dude, I say the same bro. thing dude yes and so then you're just like damn like what the hell do I gotta do you know and so mm -hmm. sometimes I do feel like thrown in the towel but I know it's part of the process I know that yeah I mean it, it's also true like what comes easy and fast that's how you lose it you mm -hmm. know and so I feel like I just have my like I, my patience has been tested so so often <laughs> but like saved. can you test someone else's patience like give me a break for once please like i don't know i feel the same way i went through a stage where like bro how the hell did this guy start like a month ago and he's already popping off like mm -hmm. i've been in this shit for almost eight years mm -hmm. i'm still like i'm grateful for everyone i have following me but like i'm not como se dice i'm not as big yet yeah as i would be? like to be i hope so you're gonna be. De los lados or what? Pues de una forma u otra. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 really, I really freaking hope so, dude. I've been, I, well, for both of us, I hope you yeah. freaking go viral, um, become what you want to become an artist and uh, make your own music. But just don't forget about me. I will. All right, fuck okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> dude i'll fucking expose you if you <laughs> ever forget a, what bro, do you got against me a ver, no, what you if you stop have, yeah you don't have anything. oh like expose you yeah i'll exactly. make shit up no. damn you heard it here first danny kidding. makes some shit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm just joking i'm just joking but nah um i don't like you said um whatever comes out like if i feel like if success comes to you quick se va rapido too yeah. like it so you got to love the journey. Yep. But sometimes it's hard to love it. Sometimes? Hello, sometimes. Or all the time. Sometimes. All the time. All the time, bro. Nah, it's, it's very hard. I, I don't know. I just... And then and it just sucks because you don't want to be envidioso. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't ever want to be, like, an envidiosa. Like, if anything, like, good for them. Like, they, they do deserve it or whatever. But there is some times where I'm like, y'all like people being mean to you. <laughs> you really do like people being mean to you. Like... Some of the biggest people are so rude. And I'm just like, how do you sit there and enjoy this content? Mm -hmm. Like, how do you sit there? People just like, sometimes I try to read everyone's comments. When when I'm on live, because I don't know if you've ever joined a live and they just straight up ignore you. And you're just like. Or they don't even look at the comments. Section. Yeah. And that's where I'm like, y'all like this? You like when people don't like care about you? Like, yeah. it feels gross. Like, I don't like that. But I'm like, damn, do I have to be being my mona so people can like. Oh my god, she's so sweet. She's so humble. <laughs> like, probably, yeah, probably at times you do, but can you imagine? Thanks okay. for the line. Send me a line. I'm trying to win right now. 
<laughs> like, guys, I'm gonna get off because no one's sending me a lion. Fuck. I'd be pissed, dude. Oh but my yeah, god. I'm but like <laughs> that, that that just like I feel like sometimes I'm like, damn, do I gotta be hella rude to you? I'm gonna get off, guys, because you guys are really boring me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get off. I, I haven't <laughs> seen one gift. I haven't seen one gift, so I'm gonna hop off. Not even a freaking rose. Damn. <laughs> no, but yeah, I mean, todo su tiempo. I I I feel like me and you both have uh you more because you're talented singing um but yeah i mean we'll we'll, <laughs> we'll reach it one day and y'all y'all gonna hear it here first y'all heard it here first actually on the floors report uh miriam lopez <laughs> that's why right now everyone's saying who 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 but <laughs> luego y'all gonna be like yo i want to go on the floors report but I don't know. I, and it does really suck because like, I feel like a lot of people just go to you sometimes to save face. And it's like, a but lot. they don't they don't really give you a chance. And that like that, I think you are more connected to influencers than I am. And it does really suck that like they only go to you to save themselves. And it just really mm -hmm. I, I personally like I hate that. I hate that for you because it's no más sin para para. But yeah. it's never been like, hey, yo, Danny, like, blah, 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 you know? Let's, yeah, I don't know, dude. But, I mean, sometimes hanging around with a lot of, like, certain influencers that don't have, like, the same values as you do, like, I feel like changes a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Or they just stop remembering who they were before, and yeah. it changes a lot of them. Like, I tell my followers that all the time. El momento que, if I do ever make it, like humble my ass like <laughs> i i don't ever want to do that like i know that some some of us work really hard to get to where we're at and i'm not saying that that makes you mamon but try to always maintain like something to relate to them too you know just mm -hmm. because that's where people tend to forget like some people some people yeah some people when they they receive uh the quote-unquote fame Se pasan, like they think they're the big shot, bro. Mm -hmm. And that's what annoys me with um with you know these upcoming influencers. Oh no, nah, I'm, I'm better than you because I have this many followers. It's it's wild to me. Uh, but to be honest, I see both of us being humble when we we get to that mm -hmm. point. But you know how we're talking about like, oh no, I would never change. Yeah. Never we say change. never, never say never. We change, obviously. <laughs> like that's part of growing, you know, that's yeah. totally a part of you, like growing as a person or because i know i know for sure like the way that i think now and the way that i think about certain topics are not how i felt about them back in my church days and i'm not saying anything about like about church you know uh -huh. um but back in the day when you're taught a certain thing you think that that is the way to mm -hmm. certain like everything being right but sometimes you do realize like i don't like this part but i do like this part and I need to learn how to talk about certain things or I need to get more educated on certain things because not everyone is perfect. Like, I think, I think it might be a little controversial, but when certain people get brought up for like things that they've said in the past, like we all grow up in a certain way and we all grow up hearing certain things that you know are wrong. And then you think that that's how you're supposed to go about them because that's the right way or right way to express yourself. And like, sometimes it's not mm -hmm. till you realize. And that's why as long as they're not that person anymore and they really stuck to their word of like, I'm really not that person anymore. You know, yeah. I don't know. Not everybody is perfect. I think we've all done something really dumb in our past. And I think if they're showing that they're not that anymore, I don't know. Yeah you people change because yeah. i for i for sure change i'm not the same person i was i for sure changed. five years I, I like when i was very closeted very very closeted i feel like a lot of my anger showed in how i would talk about my own community sometimes really? and it sucks yeah because like i was just very trying to like be like i oh, know i'm straight i do want to be with a man Mm -hmm. yeah i'm like scared for them to get near me that's our model over here guys <laughs> <laughs> no but like i used to be like this is wrong and this is wrong and this is wrong and i'm i'm super gay bro like i just but it's just something that you grow up thinking like it's really and wrong. this is because you were like in church and stuff yeah oh, okay but 
I was in one of like I respect everyone mm-hmm. and what they believe in and stuff, but I just feel like when you're lying to yourself, that's what makes you a very hateful person. Yeah. If it's something that you don't agree with, that's what makes you hate people who are actually doing or living with what they want. And sometimes that's that's how I take my hate comments. That people hate that I truly love who I am and I don't care if you don't like my hair short or don't care that I wear boy clothes or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, it doesn't bother me because I know that they're probably like, damn, I wish I was as confident or didn't care about who I was as well because that's how I was before too. Yeah. Like, oh, that's so wrong. Low key, I'm like, damn. I'm a dumbass. I want a girl to kiss me too. (laughs) (laughs) Did you really think that? (laughs) Yeah, dude. (laughs) I knew in like, I think I always knew. Yeah, I was going to ask you, like, when did you know you were um, gay? I think I always knew. Like, all my best friends were always girls. And like. But that don't mean, that doesn't necessarily mean. that does. It does? No. (laughs) I was like, what the fuck? (laughs) That's how I knew. One of them asked for a pencil and I was like, damn. (laughs) (laughs) Damn, I'm gay. (laughs) What the hell? She sneezed on me. And I was like, oh my God, she's gay. <laughs> I was like, she's gay. She gave me the gay. <laughs> One of them handed me an agenda. And I was like, is this a gay? <laughs> You're stupid. You're I'm stupid. just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I, I always knew. But in middle school, I, you know, like the truth or dare stuff. And yeah. that's why I was like, oh, wait, I think I do like girls. <laughs> <laughs> then in high school, like it was, it was really hard how I came out because I was pretty much outed. Yeah, when I wanted to ask you that, how did you come out to your um, mom or parents? <sighs> Damn, that was hard. That was a hard time. Um, because my mom, she still is very religious. She is, um, she's not accepting. Mm-hmm. She still doesn't accept it. Um, but I'm, I'm not like. I'm not like a, I'm going to shove it down your throat type of a thing. Like, I'm never very PDA around my family with my Mm -hmm. wife. And, like, neither is she. We're not very, like, PDA type of thing. Um, Not because we're doing it to protect everyone else. It's just low-key. Like, I don't, it makes me a little uncomfy sometimes. Um, But I'm comfy in the sense, like, even if it was a straight couple and they're going into town, I'm like, damn. Like, relax. I cuarto. Like, um, I came out because at the time in high school it was like rumored a lot because i wasn't very girly i was very tomboyish so Um, were you dressing the same as you are now no no i i think i tried so hard bro i tried so hard like when i tell you i hated straightening my hair but i was straightening my hair just so like people won't say shit yeah (laughs) oh my god my arm would hurt it would cramp halfway <laughs> like i had long hair dude i had really long hair i'll have to show you pictures later. yeah show me pictures. but i i just like was dating one of the top players in freaking high school that was a soccer player mm-hmm. and so then people would be like oh they're dating blah blah, blah. and it sucks because sometimes the own school district when they're supposed to protect you they don't Mm -hmm. and so it was like word of mouth someone saw me and they told someone in my family someone saw you doing what someone saw me holding hands with my my girlfriend at the time oh and so they kind of like while you were quote-unquote dating this yeah like while i was playing like while i was playing someone (laughs) (laughs) let me be the player uh, when i was in high school and i was dating this person I kept it a secret, like, for the longest time. Like, my friends knew, and I slowly came out to my friends, but they didn't care. They were just like, oh, I knew, yeah, bro. Like, I knew. I knew for the longest time. So it wasn't a surprise for them. But I would only do anything, at, like, at school because I felt comfortable. Like, I felt like, and maybe it was wrong of me to, like, be out to certain people but not other people. But because I... <sighs> And I even get this sometimes asked, like, how do you come out? Like, one, don't ever, like, don't ever, ever come out unless you know what the outcome might be. So mm-hmm. if you feel like your family or your friends are not going to take it well, then do it when you're stable enough or you haven't, like, if you have a place to stay or if you you know you have a backup plan. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. I didn't. I didn't have a plan. I didn't think. I personally didn't think because I was really happy. Like I finally was able to be myself 
but not really because I was only doing it at school, right? And so um, someone told someone in my family who also worked at this district as well. Mm -hmm. And so then that's when... They told your mom. They pretty much told um, my brother. And my brother was like, are you? I was like, no, I'm not. And it just, it it did. It was true. Like, I ended up writing all my family letters. I couldn't do it. I couldn't tell them to their face. I couldn't, like, whatever. And so my mom was, she didn't take it well. No one took it well. I mean, I'm the first person in my family to, like, actually come out. And it sounds funny because I'm like, nadie en la familia es gay. And I'm like, it's not something you pass down the bloodline, bro. <laughs> like, it's not, like, you know... A lot of the times people think it's because something happened yeah. uh, to make you be like that. Or you saw someone and that made you be like that. No, it's just like... You're literally born that way. Yes. And I, I finally knew because I was never really comfortable around guys. Mm -hmm. Like I was if you're like my friend. Like I'll joke with some of my guy friends, you know, here and there. Or like back in the day when I wasn't with my wife, I would say that some of my friends were my baby daddies. Like, but it's never like... I was never comfortable enough to be like, I want to be in a relationship with a guy. I did have boyfriends. Was I uncomfortable? Yes. Yeah. You know, but it was just like this front to make other people happy. But then when I got to be like who I really wanted to be. So it wasn't easy. Um, I did not end up living with my mom for much longer. Mm -hmm. And then I just kind of have been figuring it out on my own for a little bit. Like, luckily, my brother was able to take me in. He helped me out and all that stuff but it's been such a ride because i never got like relationship advice from my my mom i never got like any type of advice from like family members and stuff it was just very like you got to figure it out on your own if you want to be that way luckily it's not like that now i mean it's been over like 10 years but you say your brothers didn't take it well you think he didn't think, take it well because he was into church and stuff too no, or? i think he just didn't like it that i lied to him oh okay yeah because he had asked me plenty of times and I kept denying it. But I feel like people don't understand how hard it is because we never know how someone is going to take it. Mm -hmm. And and it sounds weird, but you you just don't want to let people down. Mm -hmm. Because, but at the end of the day, it's like they had this vision and illusion for your life, but they never asked you what you wanted for yours. You know what I mean? They're always like, you pensé que te ibas a casar con alguien. And nah, nah, nah. I'm like, I'm still going to get married. Yeah. But it's just not to who you want. It's going to be who I want. And like, I think that's where sometimes parents and like family members just like mess up because you have this illusion or like vision for a specific person and it sucks, but it's like you never bothered asking them what they wanted for themselves. Mm -hmm. Like when I came out to my sister in law, she's like, Oh, I knew. I was like, How? She's like, You never wanted kids. You wanted to adopt them. <laughs> you never wanted to have them yourself. Or like I would ask you, and I'm like, What what is that gotta do? Yeah. I could adopt <laughs> even if I was straight. She's like, Mija, no te vistes bien muy como como niña. <laughs> I'm like, damn. <laughs> so it's just funny how like their way of like, oh, I knew you were gay. I'm surprised then, like you saying you were like always tomboy. I'm surprised yeah. your mom didn't know. I know. I would always go to the boy section first. Yeah. So like maybe she knew or she was I like, I think a lot of denial. the time is like so much denial. Yeah. And like, but I know that it was super hard on all of them, but almost all of them went to our, our wedding. And so that to me was like huge. Some of them didn't even want to meet my girlfriends if I had any girlfriends. Some of them didn't even want to like nothing. And so when I had my wedding and I saw all of them there, I was just like, bro, okay, I did it. Like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't care about like anything else. Like if people don't accept me, that's fine because I got my family. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. So how long have you been married now? A year. Oh shit, penas <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I thought it was longer. And we haven't even gotten a chance to like feel it. In a way, because life has just been kicking our asses, bro. Like, we haven't, we went, I mean, on vacation for our honey, honeymoon. We went for our friend's wedding, and, like, we took it as our honeymoon. Like, two for mm -hmm. one. But I don't, I think we've gone through so many issues, like, with family and, like, people in our family just, like, not getting any better. And so we're just like, dude, I want to move out of state. <laughs> yeah. I want to move out of state and do something different. I just feel like. Um, I don't know if any of babies of the family feel like this, but I feel like we're the babies until some serious shit happens. 
and they're like wanting to depend on you to like figure it out mm -hmm. and it's so frustrating because like i've had to figure it out like why can't you and it <laughs> yeah, sounds yeah. so rude it sounds so rude but you're just like i'm the baby when it's something that you think i'm not responsible or ready enough you know but then when it's like some serious shit they're like so what do we do I don't know. Why are you asking me? I'm the baby. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what uh, have you guys like talked about? Like, what other states you guys would want to move? Um, I don't know, but I really did like Texas. It's just that Texas is a little scary sometimes. Yeah. Like very scary. Um, and also like California just seems too like expensive to live at. I was gonna ask you uh, yesterday. What What do you think more is more expensive, California or Oregon? We're about the same. We're like really? neck and neck right now, but because we've had a lot of people move over to Oregon. So please stop coming. <laughs> Dude, a lot of people are moving here to Phoenix. This is going to be the same as LA, bro. It sucks because it's like opportunity wise. I know there's a lot in LA yeah. and I know that there's a lot in Texas music wise. Opportunities are there. Um, but I could have opportunities in my own hometown, but nobody wants to like collab collab or... i even have posted like who wants to make a grupo i don't need water girls i have if i if i came out <laughs> with a grupo like i have like three water girls and i have two backup dancers <laughs> if i lived in oregon i would be in your grupo but i don't live there <laughs> sorry you'd be my sound person <laughs> my sound yeah, honestly <laughs> <laughs> but no um i don't know i feel like those would be the states but it's just so expensive dude like even for right now in our in oregon like a one-bedroom apartment falling apart is over a thousand two hundred that's not bad that's not bad <laughs> that's if not it's bad. like falling apart though <laughs> we went apartment hunting got and i went apartment hunting we when we got tired of ours because it was a one bedroom location was horrible like everything like we just liked it because i went from a one like a studio apartment like a studio mm -hmm. like tiny ass little thing to something bigger so that's why we were excited but we never took in consideration how parking would be how loud the cars would be driving by. Like, we were just like, damn, it's nicer, it's bigger. This time we did it right. But, man, it was going up to $1,500 for one bedroom. Oh, Mary, that, yeah, that's it. And that was, like, a nice one, though. Yeah. And so when we went to go look at one that we went to, it was, like, 1300 I kid you not, it straight up smelled like cat piss. Oh, hell. I walked in there, and I was like, nope. <laughs> No, I was like, 1300 for this? Like, the cabinet is falling off. Like, location, like, I don't know. We were, I swear we were, like, catfished. Yeah. When we looked at the apartments online, we were like, that's pretty nice, whatever. Go in person, I was like, what the f is this? Like, did we, <laughs> is this the right apartment? Like, it was just bad. And I feel like that's a lot of apartments. Like, there's nothing wrong with brown cabinets, but if, they're brown falling off and the carpet's brown and everything is brown oh hell no and <laughs> i know no gracias dude one last question before we we get into this performance este what's your favorite song to sing like your go-to song to sing Ooh, recently recently it's been sufriendo solas mm, do you know it by I'm heart hurt. i'm fucking hurt do bro. you know it by heart yeah all right Damn, no. solas <laughs> coming right now shut up <laughs> <laughs> no but do you want to say anything before uh before we head out yeah give me a chance guys <laughs> <All set. laughs> i'm me, sorry i'm sorry give me a chance and if i feel like i have la sangre pesada no más estoy pesada but <laughs> <laughs> me, i don't let shit get to me also me yeah someone take him <laughs> someone give me a chance <laughs> No, but I'll, I'll leave Miriam's uh, everything TikTok Instagram down in the yeah, description. Please, Go give her a call. Esta I did forget yesterday. Yeah, um, I know. I, did forget. I didn't. Hey, <laughs> you should have reminded me. That. I did. They, when in the car this morning? Yeah, when we we're coming back. Yeah, when we... <laughs> <laughs> but I'll leave everything all her right. info. <laughs> in You're gonna the... put it in the description, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bro yeah relax <laughs> yeah. no but yeah i'll put it everything in the description uh thank you for joining me today you're welcome um i really do appreciate you coming I you know love, you're the first i love doing community service <laughs> you know you're the first guest here in the studio so we're gonna take a picture put your picture <laughs> in the wall. 
<laughs> Can you fucking take one right now? <laughs> but no, uh, thank you, Miriam, for coming. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys like this performance next. Adios. What performance? Right, guys, so this is Miriam Lopez singing Cuando Abras Los Ojos. Ni siquiera el beso que te dejo como adiós Abrirán tus ojos que yo adoro con pasión Seguirás dormido mientras yo me voy Cuando abras los ojos y me quieras abrazar Hallarás el hueco que ha quedado en mi lugar Pero en esta carita yo te dejo el corazón Hey, shout out Miriam Lopez I got, I got chills all down my spine <laughs> <laughs> like i said you seem freaking beautiful <gasps> dude beautiful if you do want to check out more stuff though like you should check me out i'm always on live singing for free i know you and you, shaking ass but i prefer singing <laughs> um but yeah check her out guys not from what i saw yes. <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> check her okay. out everything is gonna be in the description box um did pero, it though we were serious we're yeah, serious kind of yeah my eyes got teary-eyed and everything oh yeah, yeah. Um, bye, bye guys later later bye